Organizers are making a third bid to get medical marijuana on a Nebraska ballot to let the people of the state decide its future. That effort launched at an event here tonight in Lincoln. 1011's John Grinvalds went to that event today and joins us with more. Madison, Nebraskans for medical marijuana are stepping up to the plate once again to take a crack at the ballot initiative, which includes two petitions, one to create protections for those who work with medical cannabis and the other to require the legislature to legalize it. These balloons floating weightlessly in the air celebrate the launch of a new ballot initiative. But they also mark the passage of time and two past failures of similar efforts in 2020 and 2022. It does feel like we're rolling a boulder up a mountain, um, but every time we lose a little ground, we gain in our strength and our understanding of how to be more successful the next time. Nebraskans for Medical Marijuana started collecting signatures months ago, but tonight they really got the ball rolling asking for money and volunteers. It's an issue many of the people I spoke with are passionate about. When you meet veterans, when you meet people that are chronically ill, when you meet kids that are having seizures that could all be cured by medical marijuana, you really don't need to understand the why because you know right then why we're fighting for this. And for campaign manager Krista Eggers, it's personal. A doctor told Krista she needed to either go to a state with medical marijuana or get it legalized to help her son who is diagnosed with epilepsy that is uncontrollable with regular medicine. He said, Mommy, how long are we going to keep having to get the signatures? And, you know, I had to look into his eyes and said, Buddy, we're going to just, we're going to not stop. We're not giving up until that day comes. Governor Pillen weighed in saying, quote, I believe in protecting our kids. Legalization of marijuana poses demonstrated harms to our children. Access to medical marijuana should only happen if it has undergone the FDA approved process. But organizers tell me they're optimistic they'll get the 87,000 signatures they need for both ballot petitions. Organizers will have until July 3rd, 2024 to gather those signatures.